Transport Minister Chi Hong Tet has admitted to authorities making a judgment error in the decision to phase out older public transport payment cards for adults and had underestimated commuters' preferences for viewing fare information and card balances. The Straits Times reported on Friday, January 26, that she apologized to commuters and expressed a commitment to learning from the situation. We will learn from this and we will do better in future. He added. The Land Transport Authority LTA had initially announced on January 9 to retire the older card-based ticketing system by June 1, replacing it with SimpliGo, an account-based system processing fare payments at the back end. However, the announcement faced public outcry as passengers expressed frustration over the inability to see fare deductions and card balances when tapping out. She mentioned that the LTA had consulted over 1. 000 commuters from 2020 to 2023 about Simply Go, but admitted that a wider consultation might have revealed the stronger reactions and preferences expressed by some commuters. He told the Straits Times that the ministry is reviewing the optimal number of people for its consultation process for such policies. Recognizing the importance of hearing a broader range of views, she also announced that the card based ticketing system will be extended, allowing adult EasyLink cards and Nets FlashPay cards to be used for public transport fare payments until at least 2030. To keep this card based ticketing system going for six more years, an additional $40 million investment will cover new equipment and hardware as well as maintenance and operating costs. Chi assured the government would bear this expense without impacting bus and train fares. Explaining the decision to extend the card-based system only until 2030, Chi mentioned that future decisions would depend on finding solutions to technical difficulties, hindering simply go from displaying fares on payment readers. He emphasized the authorities' commitment to consulting widely and seeking input from passengers and industry experts in making such decisions. Chi reiterated that there are currently no available technical solutions to fix the fair display issue for account-based systems, both locally and overseas. However, he was optimistic that collaboration between the LTA, other government agencies, and industry partners could lead to a solution that would eventually encourage more people to switch to the Simply Go system. Meanwhile, LTA has joined forces with the Singapore Chinese Cultural Center SCCC along with major public transport operators, SBS Transit, SMRT, and Tower Transit Singapore, to usher in the Chinese New Year with specially designed trains, MRT stations, and buses. From Friday until February 24, commuters can experience the festive joy on selected trains across all six rail lines and buses servicing routes 51, 851, 106, 166, and 961. These themed services will navigate popular areas, including Bugis, West Coast, Chinatown, Tayong Boru, Clementi, Hogang, Woodlands, Bishan, and Brosbasa. Furthermore, key MRT stations such as on MO Kyo, Boon Lei, Pangal, Tampanese East, Maxwell, and Shenton Way will also be adorned with festive decorations.